Hi, this is a look at Centipede Press's edition of The Haunting of the House. This is the unsigned edition. I rep the Dust Jacket and Mylar. Good look at the art. The artwork was done by Matt Mahiran. These lovely end papers. Look at that. Look at that. It is a cloth binding, Dutch cloth. Not sure, if you can get a full look at those details right there. Look at this gorgeous spine. And as an illustration as well. I'm going to set this dust jacket aside for a while. The contents of the book. You have an introduction by Caitlin R. You have the story itself. An essay by Stephen King published in Dance Macabre. Uh, an essay by Shirley Jackson herself. And a uh, uh, essay from her son, Lawrence Jackson Hyten. Picture of Shirley right there. The introduction is printed on this green paper. Not sure if the camera can pick it up, but it's different than the uh, cream colored paper used for the actual story. Not sure if you can tell the color differences here. The illustrations are printed on this glossy backed paper, but the uh, images themselves are printed on this matte finish paper. It feels very nice. Uh, the artwork is tipped in, and the heads of each chapter have their own uh, illustrations as well. It's a pretty nice font size too. Not too big, not too small, very enjoyable. So we can cut forward to a few pages. <laughs> it's a pretty brutal one. Um, the art direction in this um, reminds me a lot of the Haunting of Hill House Netflix series, which is one of the which one of the big draws for this edition for me. The Folio Society edition has very lovely drawings too. And in terms of materials, I think uh, Centup's numbered edition uh, takes the cake. But in terms of content, illustrations, and the overall uh, presentation of the book, I, I think I have to go with Centipede Press as my definitive edition. I'm gonna get to one of my favorite drawings here, if I can find it. There it is. There it is. Look at that. It's a scene where um, Eleanor and Theo are taking a walk, and I don't know. This the sentence just does a lot for me. Don't know why, but I love it. The one illustration I'm not sure how to feel on 
is uh, this one. All the other uh, uh, drawings in this are absolutely incredible, but this one has a slight tinge of uh, goofiness. Goofiness? I don't know if that's the right word, but look at that face, man. He's seen some shit. <laughs> Here's that greenish tinted paper again for the uh, Stephen King essay. Um, one of the very lovely extras here is uh, towards the end, you can see Jackson's sketches of what she thought Hill House should look like. I believe the sent up edition has these uh, illustrations as well, but. Um, I gotta say that like, the Centipede Press edition is just my favorite. The Folio Society Limited edition does similar uh, end papers, but I I don't think I don't think this one can be beat. The amount of detail done with the foil is just awesome. Uh, this book is out of print unfortunately so you would have to get it from the secondary market but it would be worth every penny in my opinion the book also for uh, those who love its inclusion has a ribbon marker honestly I feel these should be staple for all uh, limited editions with the amount of uh, money you pay for these, th this should be a given. Well, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any uh, questions about um, the book, please feel free to ask. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer any question in the comments section. Oh, one little last treat. Look at those sprayed edges at the top. I love when books just do the top. It, it really, really bothers me when uh, they gild or uh, spray the rest of the book. I feel this is the least intrusive while still looking very attractive little book. Anyway, uh, thank you guys and uh, please subscribe for more great books.